good morning and happy new year to a each and every single one of you guys it's 2023 i can't believe 2022 is already kaput how's everyone doing it just changed over to snow literally about six or seven minutes ago what's up everybody i am dealing with covid19 right now or whatever the hell it is covid and uh yeah just uh just super super excited about this not the covid of course but of this snow so it's really wet snow right now temperatures 34 degrees i'm really lucky and i'm feeling fortunate that uh we actually are getting snow right now because it's still warm out here so and then as a matter of fact i'm gonna pull over real quick because for some reason these are off and i don't know why so I'm going to just pull over and restart the car. There's no one, no one near us. All right. If they don't shut off right there, we go. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. All right. So anyway. 34 degrees, 113 in the morning. We're gonna do a little drive by the resorts and then uh, drive into Big Bear Lake quite a bit. So you guys can see what is going on here. Something interesting that I noticed is that there wasn't a winter storm warning put out or anything like that. Kind of shocking to me. Yeah, we're on a club view heading up towards Bear Mountain right now. And it is beautiful out here right now. It is absolutely gorgeous. Temperature dropped down to 33. It'll probably get down to freezing up here at Bear and the snow is going to be a lot heavier just in the next quarter mile. But my gosh, you guys, this rain that started at about 10 tonight, it's been intense. But because I'm feeling like such crap, I, uh, I wanted to wait until it changed over to snow. So I've been staring out the window, just staring and staring and staring. And it finally did. It finally did. So far, this is like the heaviest snow we've had all season. And I can say that with uh, confidence and certainty because I record all the storms. So yeah, it just started snowing. As I said, it's 1.15 in the morning. Um, for those of you coming up, I think it's gonna be a difficult trek in the morning. There, there's a lot of you for some reason who are coming up at like, between 7 and 10 in the morning and I just urge you to uh, if you if you really are please give yourself so much extra time bring your patience with you obviously bring your tire chains with you there's Bear Mountain over there and just uh, be prepared for a very long drive be prepared for a very long drive you guys I want you guys to be safe I don't want anything to happen to you guys But yeah, I always suggest also, there's a phone number you can call to get the most up-to-date road info. It's 1-800-CALTRANS. And uh, I believe there's like an automated part of it too, where you just talk the name of the highway that you're planning on driving up, and it'll give you the most up-to-date information that you could possibly ask for. Whether you need tire chains, what the chain conditions are, R1, R2, R3, type thing like that. 
types of things like that. And uh, yeah, just be super prepared. Make sure you guys have food and water in your car for a few days. Make sure you have a lot of warm clothing and blankets in the car and fill your gas tank up at the bottom of the mountain. Please do that, please do that. Before you even start driving up, please fill your tank up. And let a couple people know where you're going and when to expect you. Because believe it or not, in these conditions, it can get so, so treacherous that it can take AAA over 24 hours just to get to you. So, as I said, we don't want anything to happen to you guys. We want you guys to be safe and have a really good time. But Happy New Year. Super excited. Super happy to be able to wish you guys a Happy New Year right after the bell dropped. So anyway, right after this, we're going to head over to Snow Summit. Wow, it's really snowing good. It feels like we're driving light speed because of how the snow is falling. It feels like we're going really fast, but we're going 15 miles an hour. No need to be in a rush, especially right now. There's there's no one on the road. I mean, we just passed a taxi taking some drunk people home. I'm very, very proud of the people who take taxis up here. DUI is a big way that this town makes money. And yes, we want our town to make money, but I don't want us making money like that. I want you guys to enjoy your stay, not have to go to jail for stupid things like that. And you guys are so valuable. Your guys' lives are worth so much more than that. So just don't, don't drink and drive. Yeah, visibility is pretty difficult right now. We are not seeing much. We're back on Moon Ridge Road. As I said, 1-800-CALTRANS. Uh, that is your best bet because I get a lot of questions if what the chain, chain conditions are. And since I typically stay in Big Bear, I never really know the most up-to-date info when it comes to that. And one thing I can tell you for certain is that driving up Highway 18 and Highway 330 on the front side, um, the storms hit that side of the mountain range first. And if it's snowing, it can be even worse there than it is here. So keep that in mind that driving up here can be worse than actually arriving. You, you just please have your tire changed with you guys no matter what. It is definitely not worth the risk. It's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, you guys. It is just coming down. I'm telling you, we'd already have six to eight inches of snow already if it would have been snowing from the time it was supposed to start snowing. But the rain, unfortunately, ate up a lot of our, uh, of what's gonna be our final tally for the amount of snow. So I'm, I'm bummed out about that, but at the same time, I'm super grateful because our lake needs water. And, and the rain will be a little bit better, especially the really heavy rain like that for filling up our lake. The snow's great, but a lot of the snow ends up evaporating before it gets down to the lake once it starts melting. So a good heavy rain, that's, that's our best bet for the lake. Obviously, if we get massive snowstorm, that'd be awesome too. But either way, I'm just, uh, just super stoked that it's finally happening, guys. Finery, finery, finery. And I want to uh, shout out our friend Lance, Cowboy Lance, Lance Wild West. Such a nice guy. He is such a nice guy. I wish you the best always, Lance. Thank you for being you, man. Sweetheart of a person. And he's got a YouTube channel too, you guys. And he's just hes just a super mellow, chill dude. He's got a cute, cute little doggy. So if we could give Lance a little support, that would be great. Holy smokes, look at this snow. 
right, guys, we're gonna take one of the back streets here to get to Snow Summit. So we're turning left on Evergreen. Oh, here's apples. Our friend Anton wanted me to show apples. I, oh, I'm gonna have to do a better job with that, Anton. I'm, just, I'm not feeling good, dude. I just wanna get, get through this drive. I, I, I love it, don't get me wrong, I love it. And being sick or not, like I'll, I'm still always gonna do this, but look at how much snow is coming down, guys. This is epic. You can't even really, oh my gosh, like it's like making me dizzy. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. Anybody have any special plans for the New Year's? Anybody have some tough resolutions that you're trying to maintain? I'm always interested in in hearing what what you guys are trying to do. Wow, I can't even see the road. Yeah, this is definitely the heaviest snow we've had all season. So this is good. Temperature is 33 degrees, 123 in the AM. I just gotta be very careful because it's like, I'm hardly able to see. So I don't wanna be anywhere else other than the middle of the road, just in case there's a car parked on the side that I can't see and boom, that would not be, that would not be a good night. This is why I moved here. This is precisely why I moved here. For this type of weather. This type of snow. Like, this is the type of snow that, re it reminds me of like Mammoth or like places like that where it's like a good snow falling from the sky, not just a little wimpy, you know, couple of snowflakes. And as I said, we didn't even get a winter storm watch or a winter storm warning, snow advisory, uh, nothing. So I'm going to issue us a winter storm warning. <laughs> people who fell asleep right after 12 o'clock you guys are gonna wake up to something beautiful I'm so excited for you all right we're on Summit Boulevard here we're gonna wait for this car to pass and then we're gonna turn left and go into Snow Summit You're sledding right now, that is super cool to see that. Alright. I don't know why this keeps on shutting off. Those two orange deals right there, I don't know why they keep on turning off, but I don't like it. I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it. We're at Snow Summit. We're just gonna kind of, yeah, I guess we can move through here a little bit. accumulating quickly it is accumulating quickly let's see here what other information can I give you guys right now Oh, 
those orange lights just turned off and then they turned back on. Wow, look at this. Three degrees outside. If anyone has any idea why those are turned off by themselves, let me know. Okay, so we're gonna start heading down now. We're exiting Snow Summit. sense okay so amazing so freaking amazing the village is gonna look so beautiful right now I can't wait I cannot wait And uh, according to the radar and the timing of our snow situation, it, it appears at about five or six in the morning, we might get like a 45 minute break. And then it looks like it's gonna keep snowing all the way through till about three, 3 p.m. today. And then we'll, we'll get a little break in between these little systems, I think. And um, because of all the rain, I'm predicting out of this first snowfall, maybe six to eight inches, not 18 inches like they thought and then uh, with all the future snow coming this next week I don't think we're gonna get more than like four or five more inches so once again it's not gonna be nearly what was originally predicted but you guys know that's just par for the course but this is nice to get some heavy snow coming back Big Bear Boulevard, folks. Look at this, we're the only ones on the boulevard. I'll turn this on really high just to kind of help melt the ice on the, the windshield wipers temporarily. I know it's really annoying, just please forgive me. I seem to do it for a couple minutes as I bake.
to see see the lane. So hopefully I'm on the uh, trigger. Oh, perfect. Perfect. So pretty. Lights went away. Yay! 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 They went away. Gosh, this, this vehicle is just so easy to drive in this weather. I'm telling you, it is amazing. this guy on his bike. Good for him. That's freaking awesome. He didn't even have those fat wheels either. Courage, my friend. Courage. Look at people out here. Little kids in the snow. This is great. Oh, yeah. into Big Bear Lake a little bit further. And then we'll turn around in a little bit. I just want you guys to come with me to a part of town where it snows more and more. The further we go this direction, the more snow we will run into. Like clockwork. getting a little warm. Be careful, I don't want to... I don't want to overheat. That would not be fun because then I'd have to wait quite, quite a few minutes for the phone to uh, cool back down before I can start recording again. And I am tired, I'm not feeling too great. But this is taking away a lot of my sickness, I'll tell you that. It's so nice. We're not gonna run the light, but we're gonna like go over here a little bit to see if this will kind of help us get a green light here. If not, we're gonna we're gonna have to go because we can't wait for for the light three different times. This guy's he's just gonna go anyway. Well, as I said, that's what I was going to do, but I'm just going to give it one more chance. Not happy at, at, the, at the 
this light right now. You guys saw I weighed there, that was the, the fourth time that it changed without going green for us. Okay. My headlights are really covered with snow because I can hardly see anything. See, there's more snow over here already and the further we go this direction as I said the more snow we will run into since there's no one on the road we're just gonna stay right in the middle in case we do lose control we have room on either side to uh, to correct Look at how dark it is. Wow, my, my headlights are super dark right now. it would be like this tomorrow in the middle of the day there's no one on the road but it's gonna be so jam-packed right here tomorrow you guys so we're gonna be taking side routes and I'm probably gonna it's, it's 1 40 in the morning I'm probably gonna try and crash out at about 3 30 or so because that's probably when I'll be done uploading this video and then uh, maybe sleep for three hours or something I know with this illness I should be getting as much rest as I can, but you know, it's not every day Mother Nature does this for us. I hope those of you coming up here, as I said, please be prepared. Be very prepared. And bring extra patience. Oh yeah. The snow's getting deeper. Deeper and deeper. going to go too much further we're going to go to boulder bay park go into the parking lot and turn around and come back yeah there's a decent amount of snow already over here let me look at some of these roofs it looks like there's already about an inch and a half two inches over here and as i said it just started snowing too so if we can maintain this rate for a while we are we are in the money folks It's really snowing a lot more over here.
Uh, you know what? I've got my snow tool with me. I think I'm gonna, when I pull over here, I think I'm just gonna hop out real quick and uh, wipe off my, my lights. I think that would be a good idea. So we're entering Boulder Bay Park, folks. Folks. Hello, folks. Hello, hello. Alright, so hang tight you guys, I'm gonna do this quickly. Hang on, I gotta shut this off for a moment. Alright guys, so let's see if that made a big difference, let's see. Let me see what the brights look like, oh yeah. What do you guys think? Huge difference, huh? Wow, we can really see so much better now. Oh, that's so much safer, guys. <laughs> it felt like I was driving without headlights. Now this is just night and day difference. We're gonna hop, hop out of here and then we're gonna turn left to head back in to town. Oh yeah, it's so much better. Look at the road. You can you can see everything now. The snow is so wet right now, so that's why it's a uh, sticking the way it is to the lights and then the heat from the lights is melting in a little bit more and just causing all types of havoc on my lights on my lights on my lights on my lights Uh, they've got, they've, I was wrong about an, an inch and a half, guys. There's got to be about almost three inches of snow over here already. And we haven't seen one snow plow yet. Woo! Woo, woo, woo! Jamming, hope you like jamming too. It's so wet, it's slushy. Not the easiest conditions to drive in, you guys. When it's colder outside, the snow's a lot easier at least from my personal experience to drive in. When it's a slush like this, it kind of pulls you around wherever it feels like. But my snow tires are working out like a champ right now. I'm super grateful for that. while it's snowing to to rinse off all the snow in between my tires and uh, the wheel well because that's major damage gets caused like that I've popped the bumper the quarter panel a bunch of things off of my other Subaru just by just driving because of all the snow accumulating and packing in there um, yeah you can really really damage the heck out of your vehicles so please once again be super careful there's a lot to be cautious for, but 
the biggest part about this is just being happy and enjoying it. This is such a beautiful sight, you guys. Oh yeah, it's so beautiful. Snow plow in the parking lot at Alpine Slide. I kind of want to roll down the window a little bit again, but I don't want to get my car all wet. My other Subaru, I kind of trashed it. When I wash it, it's still a beautiful brand new car, but when we have snowstorms, like I would drive lots of times with the, the window down, not even caring like what's happening on the inside of the car. This vehicle, I'm not playing that game. No way. No freaking way, dude. We already went through the village. We're gonna bypass the village. We're gonna turn left here. Wow, look at all the snow already. Jeez. Subaru it'll be soon so when we get more snowstorms I can do all the donuts and stuff that I like to do and go drifting around corners I just really want to treat this car with as much respect as humanly possible Temperature still has not dropped any more than 33 degrees. Got some people walking in the street. Awesome, awesome. People are getting out, enjoying themselves at 2 in the morning on New Year's Day. What a good start to the new year, folks. Okay, sorry, we just we just turned down a street and then I realized that I accidentally hit 
the volume button on my phone, which shut the darn camera down. So we are going to go back out to Big Bear Boulevard instead of make that turn, kind of leave where we left off. Back here at Big Bear Boulevard. Yes, we are. And here we go. Ah, oh, this car has so much power. I love it so much. So pretty out here. I just have to have it blasting again, guys, because it's getting icy on my windshield wipers. And we want to avoid that at all costs. See, we're driving in the very, very middle here. We're trying to do our best to stay as safe as possible. Here are the grocery stores. Here's Vaughn's to the left. DIY US Bank. Um, a couple other stores. We have Stater Brothers is here to the right. Dumping, baby. This is what we like, guys. We haven't had anything like this all season, so thank you very much, Mother Nature. You're gonna bring a lot of people joy because of this. I can't wait for you guys to come up here and take a load off, take time off of work, and just come up here and have a great time. And just promise me you're gonna let loose. 
you're gonna come up here, not worry about anything. Well, obviously, you worry about your safety, but whatever's going on in your life down the hill, let that go and just have a killer time. I know it's easier said than done, but. Motel 6 look, is looking mighty festive straight ahead. That is so pretty, guys. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Off. Oh, they're putting on their chains right there. That's not fun right now. That would not be too much fun at the moment. But as long as they're safe, that's all that matters. This guy's having some serious struggles right here. I'm gonna feel so bad because I'll just, I'll have no problem getting up this hill. you guys even with uh, vehicles with a lot of traction or four-wheel drive these conditions with the sleet are not easy or not sleet sorry the slushy snow it's not easy to drive in I am a little concerned of the downhill part up here so we're probably gonna avoid that You know what actually instead of uh going to moon ridge where the roundabouts are we're just going to go back to big bear boulevard and get home from there just so i avoid the this one downhill part that because of these conditions I, i'd rather play it safe i don't know if you guys can tell but my headlights are already getting all covered up again Farm row. Let's turn right here, guys. We usually would make a left in that dark, dark direction. Too. Once we get to the Big Bear Boulevard stoplight, it's kind of on a downslope, 
and in these conditions you can just keep on sliding down through the stoplight so we got to be extra conscious there as well gosh it's nasty out here I love this. Heaviest snow of the season, folks. I know those bunch of wipers are annoying, guys, but we gotta do it. stoplight. I always get a little nervous with this with the slushy conditions. So fingers crossed, we're good. Fingers crossed, let's see. I can slow down the windshield wiper right now. guys it's been a real pleasure cruising with you guys this evening happy new year to each and every single one of you um, I don't know how many questions I'll be able to respond to for this this particular video guys I have to get some sleep so I'll you know I'll always do the best I can I love you guys take care it's January 1st 2023 in the Big Bear California area peace out folks stay safe out there